Being a firefighter completely changed my life. Working a corporate job, working a professional job, changed my life. And if you're watching this video, welcome to the channel. My name's Cameron. And if you don't know, I'm guessing you're, it's pretty evident that I used to be a firefighter. You can go and watch all my videos if you don't believe me and all this stuff. So this is why I have the kind of authority to speak about this. And this is why I can probably relate to a lot of you guys who are watching this, who might be working a full-time job right now, which you might not be happy in. And I'm just gonna explain in this video how you can get the most out of a full-time job, how you can get the most out of being in a professional job and, being somewhere which you might not like to be at the moment, but it's going to pay off in the long term. And we're going to discuss loads of things. So I went from being a firefighter, um, firefighter to really, I don't know, let's just say a entrepreneur, firefighter to an entrepreneur, okay? Now, you learn a lot of lessons when you're working a full-time job, a corporate job, a professional job, whatever you want to call it. Now, some of the first things that I learned personally from being a firefighter was discipline and kind of being on time and being professional. It's a very, very important skill. Working for the fire service, as you can probably imagine, is quite a serious job. Like, you'd start work at 8 a.m. and you'd go till 6 p.m. So and you could literally be called out at 8 a.m., do you know what I mean? So you need to make sure you're there on time. Being on time and being reliant on your crew also being on time is very, very important because it's not good enough. If you're, if you're five, 10 minutes late, I've, there was times in the day where we'd start at 8, 8 a.m. and then 8.01, like I think Christmas day, like 8.02 in the morning, two minutes into shift, we got called out to like a house fire where someone was in danger. So if you're late, you're ultimately putting someone else's life at risk. So. Realistically, it learnt me um, discipline. My spelling is awful, by the way. Um, and just kind of punctuality, you know? Punctuality. That's, that's, that's all, all my, ultimately what it will learn you, uh, teach you. And that's what you will learn at working at a full time job or working these nine to five jobs. You have to be at work at eight in the morning. You have to do this, you have to do certain things, you know what I mean? And it ultimately builds up your discipline and it helps you very much in later life because once you trans transition out of your nine to five into something new, if that's your big goal, which I presume, it, which is why you're watching this video, you're gonna be able to do these things a lot easier. It's gonna become more natural to you, natural to you, and it's gonna be like a lot more of a benefit to you, okay? Now, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is it actually gave me a lot of respect as a man very very important okay it gave me a lot of respect as a man because i was 20 years old 21 years old i was still finding my feet i was still kind of i was a young adult do you know what i mean i was technically i wasn't a child but i was a very young adult now being in such a professional job and being in a place where it's quite serious and quite important to be mature and kind of be professional it makes you get more respect from people it makes you think okay, like this is quite a serious job now, so I need to up my game. I need to stop pissing around and stop doing stupid things on the weekends. You know what I mean? I need to kind of actually fix up and think and take things a lot seriously because being in the environment, being a firefighter, I was around, I was around guys who were like 30, 40 years old. You know what I mean? Double, double, double my age. Um, sometimes even close to triple my age, which is quite scary, but these guys have got a lot of experience. These guys are fully grown adults, you know what I mean? They're, they're very mature. Well, a lot of them are very mature. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's important and it gave me a lot of respect as a man because it enabled me to kind of see my value and see that, okay, I'm actually an adult now. I'm, I'm going from that transition from being like a young child to, or a teenager to an, a fully grown adult, you know what I mean? So it matured me a lot faster and it gave me, um, it gave me a lot of respect by a lot of people. So. It definitely got me a lot of respect as a man being a firefighter. Now the third thing and probably one of the most important things is that it taught me what I didn't want from life, okay? It taught me what I didn't want from life and being a firefighter and being in any job that you're in right now, if you're struggling, if you're thinking of kind of quitting or You've probably experienced these feelings and it, 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 for me personally, it made me realize that I didn't take well to taking orders from, especially from someone who didn't really know me personally and it was more so just because 
they was a manager or a higher rank or do you know what I mean? I, I didn't take well f for like f from that and I still don't take well to that. And that's just, I guess, a personality trait for me. And that's something that I learned because the quicker I learned that, the better because it just solidified what kind of person and what kind of role I actually wanted to play in my life and what direction I wanted to go in. If I weren't taking well, if I weren't taking orders well from people, it's probably not going to be the best idea for me to be a firefighter, do you know what I mean? It's going to be a lot better if I'm an entrepreneur, working for myself, set my own hours, do my own work, and yeah, you get the benefits, there's pros and cons to either of them, but it taught me what I didn't want from life, which is actually very important. So if you're out there right now and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm thinking to quit my job. Um, I really don't like doing this. I really don't like doing that. I hate when my boss speaks to me like this. I hate getting up this at this time in the morning. I hate sitting in traffic when I'm driving home. Then you're probably very similar to me. And let me just tell you that it might seem shit right now, but it's lessons learned for the future. And it's things that when you look back on, because you will eventually get to an entrepreneur, you will eventually get to working for yourself and just being very comfortable in your own skin and just having your own kind of business let's say because that's what's ultimately what what you'll be doing you'll get to a point where you're like all right fair enough i had it shit in my old job i didn't do this i didn't like that but it's made me into the person i am today it's made me realize what i don't want from life now one last thing that i want to mention which you've probably experienced if you're going through that transition is that it actually sparked fear okay it sparked fear into my life because I started getting very, very comfortable. Okay? I started getting very comfortable because being in the fire service, a lot of people speak to any firefighters you know or whatever. You get very comfortable. You can get very complacent. And it's a scary kind of way to live your life because it's very easy to get like that and it's probably the same in any other nine to five job or corporate job I won't lie getting comfortable is actually going to ruin your potential especially at a young age you've got all this energy you can stay up till two in the morning and wake up at six in the morning to go to work and to kind of work your normal job and then work on your side also you, you've got the energy to do that but if you start getting comfortable before you know it you're 30 40 years old and you haven't took any risk you've just haven't like you've been scared of fear well, let's say you've been, you haven't been scared of fear and you've just been too comfortable your whole life and working for the fire service it made me realize that I didn't want a comfortable life. I wanted a life of risk. I've only got one life. I wanted to do things which I'd be proud of or do things which I actually enjoy. And I wanted to take risk and I wanted to get uncomfortable because if you're an entrepreneur, you'll know that. Who's banging outside? If you're an entrepreneur, you'll know that it's very important to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? So get uncomfortable people. Do what it is that scares you. Do what it is that sparks the fear because that ultimately is your purpose and that's what's gonna take you to wherever it is that you need to go in your life, okay? So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Um, this has basically just been me talking about how I went from a firefighter to an entrepreneur and the kind of lessons I learned through going that process. Obviously, this is very brief. I can talk more in detail if you'd like. Let me know in the comments. You can see my story if you go down my YouTube page. So don't worry about it if you're new on the channel. Don't, don't kind of stress and be like, oh, who is this guy? How can he help me? Blah, blah, blah. But just check this. If you want any help in building an online audience, building a personal brand, creating content online, and just being able to travel and live anywhere in the world, let me know in the comments. And uh, if, like I said, if you've got any questions, also drop it down below. My socials are the same as my YouTube channel, Instagram, and TikTok or whatever. So cool. Thank you for watching, people. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.